Look at this. Get off! Oh! Get out from there! Hey! Get out! Oh my god. Hey, get out from there! Yeah! It pays to make friends. Just ask this raccoon. When a trio of friends gathered for their normal Friday night festivities, they didn't expect to befriend a claw-footed critter they call Rocket. Initially, when it come up, it kind of it was acting a little skittish. You know, it kind of arched its back up like it was ready to attack, and we were keeping our distance from it. And then, after a little while, it, it like grew comfortable with us, and it was just kind of roaming around all over the yard. A few minutes later, the little guy was doing what trash pandas do best: roaming in the garbage when it got into trouble. And what happened next is a raccoon rescue that's gone viral. I'm like, man, it looks like it's choking. So I went went back behind it and I, I started, you know, doing what I was taught to try to save someone from choking. With some coaching, Bill eventually got the cheese dislodged. Oh, there it is. Rocket hasn't been by since, but the group hopes he'll turn their Friday night trio into a quartet. A truck driver in Ohio was doing a pre-trip inspection of his semi when he found a fluffy stowaway stuck between the wheels. Faced with Mission Impossible, he called and helped to free the purring passenger. With the assistance of the Ohio State Highway Patrol and a truck lift, the man removed the massive tires and caught that curious kitten. With a catastrophe avoided, the kitten was put in the safe hands of the Portage Animal Protective League. For Take a Look at This, I'm Patrick Cornell. Local stable in Birmingham is looking to help and inspire youth through horses. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis explains the benefits of equine therapy. Most people that have met the horse, any horse, fall in love with them. Patricia Shelley opened up KJ's Corral to the youth in Birmingham. The corral is named after her grandson, Christopher who died to gun violence back in 2021. He was my primary handler, my rider, my exerciser out here. KJ's legacy lives on at the corral where students now come for equine therapy. Shelley says experiencing the stable and taking responsibility for the horses can show youth a path separate from violence. You spend hours out here grooming. You spend hours out here cleaning stalls. It's just another side of life. And if you don't know it's here, you won't know whether you like it or not, okay? So this would give them an opportunity for them to be exposed to something that normally, living in a city, you wouldn't see. Equine therapy can help a person with mental and physical health. Mentors with the stable say it can also have an impact on a child's behavior. That to teach them how to respect other people, uh, their peers. The horse had to give you respect trust. The horse had to trust you. Birmingham City School students got to experience the corral through the system summer wellness program. Ride the horse, like learn more about it, how you care for it. But Shelly says the therapy can be beneficial for all ages. Whether we're going through grief from the loss of a loved one or uh, severance of a job or anything like that, or just the fact that sometimes we need a place of peace. And this place offers that emotionally and physically. In Birmingham, Kyra Purvis, ABC 3340 News. And Shelly says she plans to continue this effort with youth across the city. Please help me. Oh, 
Trying to sell the puppies, they were all tied up in the bag with the whole thing shut. With like the dripping and sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,